Hello and welcome to the Indie Dev Showcase ah, here at Thumb Culture. Basically, we are looking for new indie games out there and we're just doing a little bit of an article about them, giving you some information, uh, answering some questions for them. So first up on episode one is a game called Don't Die. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the guy who designed it. Uh, his name's Michael Cox. He's 21 and he's from the United States. Now, he's been in the game sort of development genre, shall we say, for five years and digital development for two years. Now I ask everyone the same questions. One of the questions is describe your game in 15 words or less. Now this is what he said. A challenge of extraordinary proportions, harder than Dark Souls? Maybe. So um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna throw in, we're in the options at the moment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw myself in and and see how it goes. Now, there is a tutorial. Essentially, you have to get from your square to another square and back to the exit. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back uh, and we're just gonna play through a few levels, uh, which, you know, he's absolutely fine. So we're gonna go levels. We'll start at the beginning. So here we go. We have time to complete level at the top. If that hits zero for any reason, you lose. Escape is pause, thank you. Number of attempts, the times the clock has run out. Number of deaths and hits by enemies. So what you've got on the screen is your controls. Up, down, left, right. Shift is sprint. Okay, so now we've got abilities. Pay attention to their cost and duration. Abilities cost dust, but when not enough dust is available, they will deduct their cost from the level timer instead. So don't use that unless you want to use uh, your time. Do use that by using the one, two, and three. So it's a keyboard game, as you can tell, um, but you can use your mouse. So the idea is you're this white square, you've got to dodge all of these orange squares, get the key, which is the yellow square, and then head to the big red square. Simple. Let's play a few of these levels. Three, two, one, and go. So as you can see, your the idea is that you have to avoid getting got by the other squares. It's a very, very simple game, and I have to admit, it did get frustrating after a while. Um, very, very frustrating. To the point where I gave up a couple of times. Uh, it is very, very hard, this game. The guy was not joking when he said, is it harder than Dark Souls? Maybe. So, what have I got to say about this game? Well, it's very simplistic, and I think that's the way he is, the, the, the way Michael is going for. Uh, the studio is called Templarius Game Studio. Um, if you want to go and check them out, I'm going to put all of their links in the article um, that this is in. Now, this is the level that really frustrated me. I mean, look, look, how how am I supposed to get through this, honestly? Honestly, honestly, Michael, this is, you know, how? So let's, can we slow time? One. Oh, okay. Ah! And, oh, balls. Rubbish. So, slow time. Slow that time, please. Right, okay. That's not gone well, they've kind of gone in sync. Right, they've, they've gone in sync, Michael. And I literally can't get past. So, let's escape out, let's go back to the main menu. What you can do on this game is do a load of random levels. Or you can run the gauntlet. So the gauntlet is the ultimate challenge of wits strategy and planning in the gauntlet you will pay for how long you want to spend in the gauntlet and how many levels you think you complete in that time you must complete the amount you specify failure to do so results in no reward you cannot use dust in the gauntlet so all abilities come from the time you paid for wow that sounds um interesting it's just a few random levels so you can get the gist of it like i say it is very very simplistic but that doesn't mean that it's that it shouldn't be played. Um, 
So we have a problem here straight away, Michael. This level seems to be broken. Um, I don't, I don't want to have to shrink myself because it uses up time. Oh rubbish. Now I can't I can't do anything because uh, I had to shrink myself to get through this gap. So there we go, level seven Michael. Fix it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's restart that one. Loading that level again. So three, two, one. Shrink down. Uh, there we go, we've earned one dust. Yeah, I guess so. Let's go to another level. What level have we gone through to now? Oh, level eight. Again, some of these levels you literally cannot do without... Without shrinking. Oh! Right, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time because essentially that's the game. Um, so let's give you a little bit of information about the guy himself. So apparently the game is about 90% complete. I think it's £3.99 on the Steam store. Whether you think that's worth it or not, that is entirely up to you. Um, it needs to finish some levels and apparently clean up the audio, but it may be that you know these things happen. Remember the guy is only 21, so he is you know, relatively not new, but he is only young and his, his skills will only grow. So, this has been Don't Die. You've been watching the Indie Dev Showcase number one. Uh, this will carry on and things like that. There'll be a, another sign up period later on when we get through the list of the people that we've already got applied for the Indie Dev Showcase. So, anyway. My name's been Stuart. You have been watching Thumb Culture. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, we don't want to see any trolls down here. This is just to get people's names out there, to get them a bit more, uh, a get bit more visibility. We haven't been paid to do this. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, uh, and only just really coming around now to getting to do it um, with everything that else has been going on with the Thumb Culture site and team. All right, like I say, this is Thumb Culture. You've been watching the Indie Dev Showcase number one, and I've been Stuart. And uh, take it easy.